Hi everyone, um, Jennifer Johnson here again. Welcome back on your maths with me for this 30 minute session. Um, today we're going to be doing a practice that combines a couple of twists. Um, very good to detoxify the body, but if you can also bring this imagery into the mind, um, that'll benefit you hugely. Um, just to, to sort of rinse the mind out from any negativity that you may be experiencing. So watch the dialogue with yourself. If you look at yourself from an outside in point of view and you notice any sort of harshness coming across, this is a good idea. Just to rinse that with kindness and invite new dialogue, fresher, healthier, um, kinder dialogue into, into your very being again. So we'll come to the front edge of our mats. Practice with care, don't do anything that creates any pain or harm. And just do what you can. It's all about arriving on your mat. It's not about completing the poses, it's about the practice. Combine the breath, the body and the mind. Bring the hands to the heart center. And just bring the feet together if you can. Tuck the tailbone in and under. Drop the hands alongside the body. Palms are facing out. Just have a sense that you're earthing through the feet, you're growing roots here. And as you grow roots through the feet, you have an inward and upward lifting sensation through the inner thighs, tucking the tail in and under, hugging the lower ribs in, and softening the shoulders, lengthening through the back of the neck and lifting tall through the crown of the head. Your jaw is gentle and your eyes are gently resting in the sockets. And there's no tension in the brow. And just notice here if you've begun to hold on to the breath in any way. And just allow the breath to move more freely. And with your next inhale, lift the arms up high above the head. Gaze to the palms if you wish, otherwise gaze center. And exhale, bringing the hands through to the heart center again. Two more like that, breathing in. And exhale, contracting abdominals, bringing the hands back to the heart. Last one, breathing in. And exhale, breathing out. We're going to lift once more, inhale, breathing in. Exhale, push the palms together, push the elbows together, soften the shoulders down. Reach the elbows forward and lift up through the fingertips as you push the palms together. And then drop your left arm and take the outer edge of your left hand to the outer edge of your right elbow. Breathe in deeply. And then with the exhale, draw your right arm over towards the left hand side and gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe in deeply here, two more, and exhale. Find that victorious breath, that ujjayi breath. You can hear a gentle humming sensation at the back of the throat on the inhale. And on the exhale, there's another audible sound, a bit like a sa-ha. And then on the inhale, bringing your gaze center, unravel the arms. Push the palms together, elbows lift, reach up high, elbows separate, exhale, release. So going the other way this time. Push palms together, elbows together, a little bit of brain gym, elbows release and move out. One more. Palms together, elbows together, lift and release. I've got my precious little prince here, I'm yowling on the floor. Push your palms together, elbows push together. Reach the elbows further away from your body. Push the palms in again. And then drop your right hand, outer edge of the hand to the outer edge of the left elbow. Soften through the shoulders. Breathe in deep. And then exhale, draw that left arm to the right hand side. And then on the exhale, gently shift your gaze over towards the left. Nice big breaths here. Allow your no lower ribs just to nip back into the body so that you're not pushing them out in any way. Big breaths. And then with the inhale, bringing the gaze back center, release both your hands, push your palms together. Exhale, lower the hands, reach up full circle. Exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to get the hands to the floor. 
Inhale, find your halfway lift. Hands come underneath the knees. And then push the hands onto the knees. Reach the crown of your head forward and reach back through your tail. Your knees don't, your legs don't have to be straight here, but you can aim towards it. Exhale, bend the knees, fold over. Inhale, find the halfway lift. Strengthen through the core here to protect your lower back. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Two more. Inhale, find the halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, find the fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find the fold. Step yourself back into plank. Lower your knees down towards the ground. Control the abdominals. Exhale, elbows brush the body. Inhale, baby cobra. Elbows in, lengthen your lower back. Exhale, extend your child, reach the seat bones back and down. Inhale, all fours, and exhale, tuck yourself back to the dog. Gaze between the hands, walk the feet and the legs between the hands, straight legs if you can. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, engage the legs, bend the knees if you need, lift the hands. Exhale, bring the hands back to prayer. So we're gonna move through a little bit more of a dynamic movement now. I'm gonna just get my kitty cat out. Don't believe. Um, so don't be too hard on yourself. If you're a bit faster or a bit slower than me, it's totally fine. Just try and combine your breath with your movement. So standing mountain. Inhale, lift to high mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right leg back. Low lunge, drop the hips. Reach the chest forward, knee over the ankle. Exhale, tuck yourself back to the dog. Inhale, stepping your right foot back forward. Drop the hips, reach through the chest. Exhale, kick it to the forward fold. Bend your knees if you need. Inhale, dig deep, rise high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step left leg back, low lunge. Exhale, tuck it to the dog. Inhale, step the left leg back, low lunge. Exhale, kick it to the fold. Inhale, flat back, dig deep, rise high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna go for two more. Inhale, right leg back, creating the tapas to the dog. Step in the right foot forward. Inhale, exhale to the fold. Inhale, flat back, dig deep, rise high. Exhale, release. Keep it going. Creating the warmth, the tapas in the body so that you can move and synchronize the mind with the breath. Left leg back. Exhale to the dog. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale to the fold. Inhale, lift, remember that dialogue. We haven't yet come to the twists. We're just warming the body and the breath and the mind. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale to the dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale to the fold. Inhale, flat back, lift high. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale to the dog. Inhale, left leg forward. You might help with that hand to the back of the ankle. Exhale to the fold. Inhale, flat back, dig deep, rise high. Exhale through the heart center and release the hands alongside your body. 
just notice now you might find the heart is racing just feel that rhythm of life moving through you show gratitude for the ability to be on your mat today we're going to come to a nice little balance before we move through anything else so shift your weight into your left foot i'll mirror you we're going to come to an easy tree so don't be too worried if you sh if you wobble a little bit it's fine so choose where you're working you either want the ball of your left foot on the floor and you're simply going to fan the knee out to the side or you're going to hug the right knee into your chest and soften your shoulders down wherever you're working is fine that's complete pose for you so remember in the dialogue it's your practice innate with you there's no comparison and then spin that knee out to the side right hand to the hip to begin then you want to grab hold of the ankle and bring the foot either to the inner thigh or the calf or maybe you bring the toes back to the floor ball of the foot down but never on the knee because you might buckle out okay so then release the hands and bring the hands to pray in front of the heart center big breath in here and as we did in tadasana in the beginning just root through that standing foot feel the connection with the earth lift tall through the crown and you might release the hands and slowly let them float up and then push the palms together and draw it down through the center. Knee comes forward, extend the leg and release. Shake it out there. It's quite strong on the feet, especially if you're not used to balancing. So shift the weight into your right foot. You're on the ball of the left foot now. And again, simply just choose where you want to be. There's no competition here. It's about re-establishing that connection of kindness so hugging that left knee in and then fanning it out to the side grabbing hold of the ankle foot to the inner thigh or the calf all toes back to the floor never on the knee hands back to the prayer and have a sense of connection between the sole of the foot and the leg pushing against one another and the left knee fanning out and open. And just see if you can stay steady. See if you can be present in the moment. And then allow your hands to move down. And then just opening up. Lifting high above your head. Have a sense of length. Push the palms together. And then bring them through to the center knee comes forward extend and release okay so step back to the front edge of your mat and you're going to prepare to move through a few twists here so palms facing outwards just finding tadasana again and then brush the fingertips towards the floor sit low in your chair Wiggle your toes to make sure the weight is in your heel. Reach up through the fingers. Have a sense that you squeeze in the midline. And for today, let's just keep the gaze in front of us. So you're not going to lift it up. But we really want to feel how the muscles just above the knees are strengthening, the quads and the glutes are firing up. So inner thighs are squeezing to the midline. One more big breath here. And then with the exhale, bring the hands through to the heart center. Now keep your chest nice and open, collarbones wide. And your first option is to take the outer edge of the right forearm or back of hand to the outer edge of your left, your right knee, and then lift up into a twist here. You might want to put your hand on your sacrum. If you practiced a lot, you might want to hook here in prayer. But the aim is to keep your crown, your knees, and your tail in a line. And then if you like, you can extend the arms, or you can bring the left hand to the sacrum. You choose where you're working, wherever you are, two more big breaths. Remember to rinse. 
even if your mind is screaming at you just allow yourself the opportunity to let go exhale hands to the heart inhale dig deep rise high exhale fold inhale find your halfway lift exhale step yourself back into plank you can take full chaturanga or knees to the floor baby up dog cobra you choose and exhale tuck yourself back to the down dog settle into the breath there and now lift up onto the balls of the feet bend the knees a lot keep reaching your seat bones up and back so you're almost driving the chest towards the thighs and then lower the seat the hips over towards the left hand side as you gaze underneath your right armpit two more here And then bring your gaze center, swivel on the balls of the feet and over to the other side. Push both your hands into the mat equally. Move away from your wrists, so really push down on the underside of your knuckles and the palms of your hands. Otherwise, your knees are to the floor. Inhale to the center, exhale to the dog. So otherwise, you could be here. Yeah, okay. So we're going to come up back into dog all together lift your left right leg back and up and exhale bring the knee towards the nose see if you can contract through the core and bring the knee as close as you can and then step the foot between the hands you might need to help with the hand to the back of the, the ankle now lower your back knee down you can use a cushion underneath that back knee or you can double your mat Wherever you're working is fine. You might not need it. Okay. Knee over the ankle. Reach the arms nice and far forward. Now interlace the hands, except for your forefingers and your thumbs. Now squeeze the arms alongside the ear. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Breathe in deeply. And then exhale, drive your hips a little further forward. So this might be more than enough for you. If you fancy a little more, you can lift away from the lower back, keeping your hips squaring off to the front and arch open a little. Keep your breath moving. Two more here. Steady breath, steady gaze. And then with the next inhale, reach at a long diagonal. And now hook those arms to the outer edge of your right leg keep yoga mudra and then squeeze in and twist remember twisting in the mid back not in the lower back reach forward through the crown back through the tail and your gaze is over your right shoulder towards the back edge of your mat if you're working a little stronger you can tuck the back toes and lift up but it's not necessarily what you need to be doing today Lift the heel up towards the sky. Breathe deeply. Last one. And then exhale, lower the knee down if it's up, and tuck the toes. Inhale all together, long spine forward. Lift up, maybe a little back bend if you like. And then exhale, reach far forward, hands either side of the front foot, tuck the back toes. And exhale, dog or child. Inhale, walking the hands back towards the feet. Bend the knees and roll up one vertebra at a time. Releasing the back. Inhale, lift up through the arms. And exhale, walk yourself to the front edge of your mat. So now you know, other side is coming. So bring the hands alongside you. And find that dialogue you're looking for. Brush the fingertips towards the floor. Shift the weight into the heels. Spread through the fingers. Squeeze in the thighs. Sit a little lower. Keep smiling. Big breaths. Last two here.
Next, exhale, drawing the hands through the heart center. And again, twisting over to the left this time, outer edge of forearm or hand to the outer edge of the knee. Hand can move up or sacrum. If you're advanced in your practice, you might want to hook and open up. Keep the crown and the tail in a line, knees and toes in a line. Breathe deeply. See where you're working. If you've stopped breathing, it's mean, it means you're pushing yourself too far. So back off a little and invite the breath to be your guide. Extend the arms. Exhale back to the prayer. Inhale, big push, lift. Big, deep rise. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees if you need. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Step, jump, or walk it through. Take your flow. Again, lifting up onto the balls of the feet, bending the knees, and we're gonna lower the hips over to one side and then the other. I'll show the option. You can lower the knees down and just drop the hips to one side for two breaths and then the other side, okay? Choose where you're working. Be mindful of your wrists though. If you haven't practiced, might be an area you need to strengthen, so only one or two dogs might be your option. You might choose child in between. That's fine. And then inhale to the center. Exhale, heels down. And then step your left foot between your hands, but try and get your knee up high into the chest. Pause there for a moment. And then see how close you can step your left foot to the front edge of your mat. Might need to help. Again, cushion under your right knee. Double your mat. Find your foam if you need. Okay. Reach the arms forward. Interlace the hands. Yoga mudra. Reach far forward. Nice diagonal. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the hips a little further forward. Knit the lower ribs in, lengthen through the body and the back. Exhale, maybe you open up into a little back bend, not necessary, but see where you're working. And two more big breaths wherever you are. Inhale, nice long diagonal forward. So make sure you're, you're squaring off on the hips now. Okay, crown and line with your tail, and then hook your arms to the outer edge of your left leg. Reach forward through the crown, back through your tail, push your hands together, open up here. Gaze over your back shoulder if you can. Breathe big, deep breaths. And if you're advancing in your practice, you might want to tuck the back toes and then lift up. See where you're working. Think about rinsing. Last one there. Strong foundation. Gaze down, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, long diagonal, lift up and away. Maybe a little back bend. And then exhale, hands either side of the foot, tuck the back toes. Dog or extended child. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, tuck the toes round into cat. Inhale, curl it through. Exhale, tuck it round. Inhale, curl it through. Exhale, tuck it round. Inhale, curl it through. Exhale, last one. Inhale, flat back, feet to the side, and then just bring the legs out in front of you. Extend your left leg forward and hug your right knee in. So you want a fistful between the foot and the leg. 
So your foot might be there, depending on your knees, might be here, might be here. But what you don't want to do is lean back or round through the back, okay? So wherever you are, you might have this left leg bent because your hamstrings are also tight. Bring the right hand behind you, okay? And then think about crown of a tail. Flex your left foot, engage your left leg. Drop your left shoulder. Wrap the hand to the outer edge of your right knee. Use that right hand a little on the floor to push you and lift you up. Breathe in deeply. And then exhale, you might wring the guts and bring the gaze over the back shoulder. Breathe big breaths here, yeah, three more. Big deep breaths. You don't wanna get that left shoulder moving forward, so really open it up. And then move your right shoulder to back as well. Last one. And then inhale, bringing the gaze forward. And then just let that right leg flop open to the side. Breathe in deeply. And exhale, body comes in line with that left leg. Nice, long, flat back. Breathe in. And exhale, fold. <coughs> Big breaths. Stay low. And then inhale, walking it back and up. Sit nice and tall. And then other side, right leg out, left leg in. Fistful, choose where you're working. Left hand to the floor, flex the right foot, engage the leg. Open up the right shoulder, back with the left. Grab it, lift long and straight. And exhale, twist. So every inhale, you're still filling up through the lungs. And on the exhale, you're wringing the gut as you contract the abdominals. Two more. Last one. Inhale, gaze center. Exhale, drop the left knee out to the side. You can use a block underneath your knee if it's a bit much. Choose where you're working. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, breathe deep. Exhale, see where you come to. Wherever you are is fine. Next inhale, we're gonna walk it back and up sitting tall. Hands behind you, feet move to the outer edges of your mat. Lift up high onto your fingertips so you strengthen the palms of your hands. Long flat back, exhale, lower the knees over to the right, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, breathe deeply, center. Exhale over to the other side. Two more. Remember, move the mind with the breath, not the other way around. And then inhale, leg center, hug the knees in, just fold over, and then just walk yourself back to lay down. Extend your arms out like airplane wings. And then just lift the legs up, Knees over the hips. Take a big breath in there. Now you can simply just flex the feet and then lower the legs over towards the right hand side and look over the left shoulder. Lengthen through the left side of the waist. And if you still feel like a lot more, it's quite strong, straighten out the left leg and grab hold of the outer edge of the foot. If you've got a strap and you want to wrap around that's fine but just make sure you're not narrowing on the left side of the body one more there bring your gaze back center bend your leg if it's extended 
Engage through the core, inhale, push the palms and lift the legs, center. Other side, this time, flex the feet and then lower the legs over towards the left hand side, gaze over the right. And again, if you want a little more, you can extend your right leg out to the side. And grab hold of the outer edge of the foot if you like, but lengthen through the sides of the body. A twist on your back. Inhale, bring the gaze center, bend the top leg again. Inhale, engage, lift the legs up. And then exhale, hug the knees back and towards the chest. Inhale, release the legs away from you. Exhale, hug them back in. Just rock gently from side to side. And you want to extend the legs out on the floor. Rip the edges of your mat with your hands, squeeze your shoulders, engage your legs, squeeze your glutes and then lower yourself back down. And take a big breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Take a big breath in through the nose and hold it for three, two, one, and slowly out for four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one, and hold the breath for three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one, inhale for three, two, one, hold it for three, two, one, exhale it for six, five, four, three, two, one, last one there, inhale for three, two, one, hold it for three, two, one and exhale it for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then just find a natural rhythm of breath. Not one you have to think about, but just one that happens. Let your whole being be supported, tapping into that inner clarity and that inner flow for life that exists within each and every one of us. And then beginning to rub your fingertips together and wiggle your toes. Roll your head gently from side to side. And then reach your arms up high above your head. Reach, point through your toes. Lift your left leg and your right arm. Lengthen through the side and this diagonal stretch. And exhale, release it down. Other side, right leg lift left arm, reach through the fingers and the toes, and then exhale, lower it down. Hug both your knees into your chest and just give yourself a big cuddle there, rocking from side to side. And then again, rolling over onto your right. Just allowing yourself to take the benefits of the practice with you today. Take a full breath into the heart center. Exhale it there. And then drawing the left hand to the floor in front of your chest. Just push it in up into the ground to help you come up into seated. 
And then today, backs of hands to the knees, all finger and thumb in the mudra. And the palms up are a gesture to receive. And just take a moment here to sit settled and long and proud. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Thank you for practicing again. As always, it's wonderful and look forward to sharing more with you on the mat. So take care. Bye.